G'day folks, now this is the big one. The All For Adventure team is announcing the winner of this year's Live The All For Adventure Dream prize in just a few moments. It could be you. And stay around for another massive announcement after the draw. Now, please welcome to the stage our adventurers, Jace Andrews and Jesse Crampton. Take it away, guys. Guys! Go, we've got a big crowd here, mate. Check them out. Are you guys ready to live the offer adventure dream? That's what you're here for, aren't you? All righty, we've got a big schedule this afternoon. How's the show been going for you? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, that's the go. All right, so at some stage today, we're going to uh, live the All for Adventure dream for one lucky person. And also, we've got a, a really big announcement straight after that. So it's going to be a big afternoon. I hope you guys are ready for it. Now, it would be pretty cool if the winner was here today. So is the winner here? That's what I like to hear. All right, guys. So um, first of all, as you can see, Simon's not here with us today, okay? Uh, he, uh, he, uh, it's a long story. We won't get into it, but he's, he's on holidays. What? He's got the what? The vid. Oh, the COVID. <laughs> he's on holidays, all right? So uh, he couldn't make it. So we've got Jesse, we dragged Jesse down anyway. Um, you know, dragged him down from Cairns. And, uh, but that's all right. He's still going to live the offer adventure dream, that's for sure. How you going, Brisbane? This, this is my first time to the big smoke, so I've been finding it. <laughs> and yeah, I pretty much just got the phone call from Jace. Another crazy idea flew me down here. Be alone for the past two years riding. So did the odd job in Rankin today. So, uh, all new experiences for me. Get out of my element. Here we go, folks. So Simon's not here, but it doesn't mean we can't take the piss out of him. Check this out, guys. All right, boys, let's get the party started. Disco. It's like this, it goes... Here he goes. He's out of there. Oh, don't let him go near the truck. Has he? Well, no, let him. That's where we're working. Oh, no. no. That's not good. Where's he gone? Has he gone out? No, don't let him go in there. <laughs> oh, oh. No, oh, oh, there's another the snake one. there. Oh, there he goes. Go there's get. two snakes. Yeah, there's one there's one, another one here, Simon. You're kidding me. No. He's got a little... They're in a snake pit. It looks, looks like, like a guy. deadly snake to me. No, he's a little... You can well, if you're so sure, grab it. I wouldn't. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, they're putting a tail shaft on and the snakey comes down and goes, Hey, mate, how you going? That looks like no tree snake to me, dude. Yeah, yellow belly on him. I didn't see that yellow belly. I see him. <laughs> All right, proceeding with the bashing, and then there he is, right there. He's under your car, see? Yeah. Right there. Oh. Go away, Snakey. You can keep an eye on him, Stu. We'll bash this. He's probably hanging around because of the vibration. No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 He's panicked. What? That's panic. What happened? You right? Yeah, I just right under me feet. The snake could have bitten you ten times. It wouldn't have hurt as much as that did. <laughs> we drop the camera, boys. Straight into the snake pit. The Very temperature true. has dropped heaps. It's cold before. It's really cold. Yeah, temperature's dropping. I hope Rock Scissors who walks through the water. One, two, three. three. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Go again. Oh, okay. One, One two, two, three. three. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, no, we both played this game before. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already up to the top of my pants. I'm going to take my pants off if I'm going for a walk through there. I'm going naked. Yeah, I don't want to get my pants wet. Yeah, I'll get my shorts wet. Do you like my white legs? Yeah, they look good. Do they? No. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's way too cold for this, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Temperature's starting to drop. Whose thongs are whose here? Are they yours or mine? Do you see another pair of thongs? No, but I, don't, I can't remember. But quite possibly, <laughs> the person not wearing any thongs and standing in front of a pair of thongs, and everyone else wearing footwear... Oh, you got footwear on? Possibly it. could be yours! Oh, there you go. Oh, my God! I couldn't tell I thought you had your first year Check thongs Check out with the big brain. Come you in think you're... Now! <laughs> <laughs> is it worth a dip? It's definitely worth a dip. What's that big swirl in there? Yeah, there's, there's full of crocodiles in there, mate. Oh, that's a crocodile there? Yeah, I wouldn't swim out too far. They're only freshies, apparently. Oh, <laughs> 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 This place is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly got stuck. <laughs> bit of custard on there. We'll give her a little bit of a sprinkle of this stuff, mate. It's called cinnamon as well. We'll put some cinnamon on there. Look at that. Looks good. How good does that look? Right, we're going in. We're going in hot? We're going in boots and all. All right. It's called a shared dessert. Yeah, it's a shared. It's, it could be one of those. Um... This is what you normally do with a girlfriend. We won't go there. Just you to mention something like that. You want to go ahead. Go on. Hey, Mum. This is me mate Simon. We're out on the track breaking stuff. We won't be home for dinner. <laughs> hey, there we go, guys. So that's all the, um, you know, behind the scenes, having a bit of fun. Uh, there's no doubt about it. We get up to a fair bit. We get up to him. Give me a minute. I've been talking all uh, all three days, and my throat is starting to die again, as it does every year. You don't want me to lose my voice, otherwise I won't be able to draw the winner. All righty. So yeah, that was the behind the scenes bloopers. Now, just recently, I um I rang Jesse up and I said, mate, we got to go up north for a trip because we've got to film some Unleashed, you know, Unleashed stuff. So what I did was I, um, I did a little uh, bit of a rebuild on Swampy and I rang Jesse up and I said, mate, let's go up north for a wet season run. So guys, just to paint the picture for you, if you haven't been up north yet, it's very seasonal. And uh, where I'm from, when it uh, starts to rain, you just batten down the hatches and you just ride out the wet season. And... Uh, Sometimes Jason calls me up with uh, pretty crazy, borderline stupid ideas. And uh, he wanted to go north to the Cape in the wet. And when he rolled up my driveway, there's one thing that I noticed straight away. He had swamp truck. Now, I have to admit, Swampy is a beast. I look around the show today, lots of shiny, fancy trucks. <laughs> Give me Swampy every day of the week. That is a Cape York basher. <laughs> there you go, folks. Hey, here we I decided we'd take Swampy up north for a Cape York wet season run. Now, this is Unleashed.tv. If you guys haven't subscribed to Unleashed.tv, I'd highly recommend get in there and subscribe to it. There's so much more to see and do on Unleashed.tv, including getting extra entries into competitions and stuff like that. Now, this is a little sneak peek of what we're gonna drop next month on Unleashed.tv. The thing that I found the most that when it comes to this whole wet season setup, you really got to be a lot more prepared. There's, there's all those things, the fact that it's, it's a lot more remote, there's no one around, you've got no help, you're only on your own. And um, the storms roll in, you get big scuds of rain and wind and, and you know, all those sort of things come into play and you've got to be really careful in a mission like that. But you 
do get to see some really, really cool country. Just follow on my tracks, mate. Oh, follow on my tracks. Oh, no! What did you do, Jesse? <laughs> oh, no. But even overall, the whole series of, uh, of uh, this trip here in the, uh, the top end during the wet season has been been memorable. Like we've done a few things. We've seen a lot of places. Oh, yeah, it's been it's tough, been but you know, that's the wet season. You've got to take your cement powder. <laughs> <laughs> Cover concrete. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, no. Yeah, everything from uh, chasing pigs and getting bogged to the eyeballs, and and you know, and getting swampy out on country, and then trying to find tracks into remote areas and. It just, you know, even helping people out at the station. Mm. That's right. It was good. So, so if you had to take anything away from being up here in the top end in the wet season, is we got absolutely lucky. We got that little weather window. Otherwise, normally this time of the year, it would just be absolutely pelting down. There'd be all the rivers would be flooded, and you just you wouldn't get you wouldn't be able to move an inch anywhere. Yeah, we had a few testing moments, but I'll have to admit, Jace, I've been busting to get up in this top end in the wet season. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's hard to get to on your own. <laughs> so I really appreciate you getting me up here, mate. It's been a good journey. And that's it for our adventure in the top end in the wet season. It was an experience that I've never experienced here in Cape York. Now I have. You know, it's funny watching watching this like this, Jace. Like you see it for like just a second or two. Some of that stuff was a pain. Like days were out there shoveling and mash days, tracking. mate. <laughs> Every time Jesse got bogged, we had to get him out. That's for sure. I got bogged a lot, guys. That's what I do best. <laughs> but as you can see, I also got bogged in the big 200 as well with the trailer on. And but that swampy, I'll tell you what, it's one hell of a recovery vehicle. There's no doubt about it. But all that, what you've just seen there, is a, a preview to what we're going to be dropping next month on Unleash.tv. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We sat around the fire and we thought, "What are we going to call it?" Yeah, we had a bit of smack talk with naming that series. What was it again? Uh, I think we might call it Swampy Unboggable. What do you reckon, guys? Gives away the name a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it does give it away a bit. It's a bit unboggable, old Swampy. All right, guys. So um, we've got some uh, stuff we're going to be dropping uh, very soon as well, and that's going to be like in the next week, and that's on Unleashed.tv as well. So some pretty cool stuff coming up in the next week. Here's a little sneak peek of what we're going to do. The numbers that have, the come, numbers out that have come out of this truck insane. are insane. Five, five hundred and eighty horsepower and 1,770 1, newton meters of torque. Yeah, this puppy See how this puppy goes? I want to test it. I want to test it. Probably one of the harshest environments. Test towing in. Towing soft sand. That's soft sand. Yeah, it's soft sand. Soft sand. Soft sand. Usually sorts out any vehicle. Any vehicle. Towing on the vehicle. No worries. No worries. Yo, baby. Just chatting it up, mate. That boat at the moment is probably about 4.5 tonnes. Does look good, though. Let's go freshwater. This is the track you don't turn around on. That's the real test. That's the real test today. Who got to see it? A lot of people up there looking at it, taking photos with all the all the lights and all the uh, colour coding and all that sort of stuff. It is an absolute weapon of a truck. So uh, there's no doubt about it. That's going to be a cool release. Now, we've also got a really, really, really big announcement straight after the draw. Okay, straight after we draw the winner. Do not disappear because I'm going to drop an apple. Jesse and I are going to drop an absolute bomb. Okay, not, not, not. Not like a bomb, not like like you know. Don't we don't yeah. 
No bombs, okay? No bombs. We're not going to drop bombs. We're going to drop something. All right? So, um, but in the meantime, mate, do you remember? Do you remember last year's winner? Does anyone remember? No, they probably went, yeah. Well, apparently we got last year's winner here. Is he here? Where is he? There he is. This is last year's winner. So Jeff, Jeff won this last year. How you going, Jeff? Good, guys. How are you? There's a winner right there. They're like, oh, no, no one wins it. No one wins it. Well, there's the winner right there, mate. What did you do with the Live the Author Adventure Dream Prize? Well, it's actually parked out in the car park now at the moment. It's parked in the car. <laughs> Caravan's still at home. The tinny's in the shed at home too. Wow. And I heard that you started up an Instagram page and your hashtag is, I'm not coming back to work, boss. It was almost that. <laughs> so where have you been in your uh, prize truck, mate? Well, I haven't been anywhere much yet. Uh, we've been out to Cane Gorge and just a few local trips, but we're planning a trip up to the Cape this year. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get there a bit later on, about August. August. So there you go, guys. So the person who wins it today might be able to hook up and they can just do a Live the Author Adventure Dream Prize twin round Australia. Hashtag suckers. Yeah, thanks for that, Jason. So there you go, guys. Um, that's what it's like. I, was, I thought he would come up here and say, yeah, man, I just traded it all in. I got a big pile of cash. I tried to trade it, but you wouldn't get me back in black for it. <laughs> no, I didn't swap back in black. Who knew? Like, who knows that we gave back and black away? Yeah. And none of you won it. Poor buggers. Yeah, that's the trouble with giving one vehicle away. I can't give everybody a vehicle. But the person who won it, so this is another competition winner. He, um, <clears throat> he's actually got it down in Victoria now, but I actually sent that truck to Darwin for him. And he's been driving it around like he's a, po a rock star. So... There you go. Back in Black is out there somewhere. If you see it, take a photo of it. Anyway, mate, thank you. Thanks, Chase. Right. Awesome. And, um, yeah, hope you enjoy the, the prize draw up at, you know, the prize up in the Cape. <laughs> oh, he's entered the next one. <laughs> what a stitch up, huh? <laughs> go sit down, you lucky bastard. <laughs> what are we going to do if, he put, if we call out Jeff? Redraw. Yeah, we like, wake up, Jeff. Wake up, Jeff. All right, guys. So um, I think we're getting pretty close. Now, I'll tell you what I might do is I might um, – um, what I'll do is I'll run the promo for you, right? I'm going to give you one last look at it. All right, this is one last look at what you guys are going to win, okay? So in about – literally minutes away from drawing the winner and this is have a look at it and have a think about it it could be one of you guys here if you're dreaming of hitting the open road then don't miss your chance to live the all for adventure dream this year we've assembled an awesome prize package worth over two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars there's a brand new Isuzu D-Max. Looks just like mine. It's got the best gear from the best names in the business. Got everything you're gonna need to get off-road. And it's got all the gear to get you out of trouble if you get stuck. There's a Jayco Crosstrack for your home away from home. You're gonna need some toys. There's a boat and outboard. And some great fishing gear to go with it. Not to mention, there's five grand to spend with our friends at BCF. And one lucky person is gonna win the lot. And look, you can boost your chances to win with bonus keywords. And if you're an Unleashed subscriber, you double your chances to win. So register now, and, and you, you can, can be, be living, living the All for Adventure dream. dream. I know. <laughs> How cool is that, guys? Who wants to win it? Alrighty, let's see what we can do, eh? Now I've just given the go ahead. Yep, here we go. So here it is. The winner is in here, okay? So this is the winner of how much was it again, Jess? Uh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was over $200,000 worth of cool stuff. The D-Max is up there, you've had a look at it. Now, first thing I'd like to do is, before we um, draw the winner, is I'd like to thank all the sponsors who have contributed to the Live the All for Adventure Dream Prize draw this year. 
the season 13 of All for Adventure. And you know who you are because there's a truckload of you guys and um, they're the reason why this can all come together, okay? That's why it's over $200,000 worth of stuff. And um, it's the fact that all you guys out there support those brands in this industry that allows all this to happen, okay? And the fact that you guys watch All for Adventure because that's what makes it happen as well. If you didn't watch me, I'd have to go home. All right? So if you didn't watch us, we'd have to go home and I couldn't do TV and I couldn't give you guys a chance to win over $200,000 worth of gear. All right. It's a pretty good giveaway, guys. Like, it was set up by Mad Max. You can go anywhere in Australia. It's pretty good. You, you can. Hook her up, drive off, lap around Oz. What's the hashtag? Suckers. That's it. Don't forget that one. All right, guys, here we go. Do we do a little build-up or a drum roll? Nah, we don't do that anymore. Here comes the drum roll. All right. The winner, the winner of the Series 13, Live the Alfred Adventure Dream Prize, major prize, is Amanda A from Postcode 2529. I haven't heard a scream yet. <laughs> there we go, guys. Amanda is probably the luckiest lady in Australia to, at the moment. There's no doubt about it. So, yeah, another big round of applause for Amanda A. Everybody deserves to win. Everybody. I feel this is the worst. This I feel so bad. There's a lot of disappointed people in the crowd right now. <laughs> is it ringing? Oh, here we go. So we got a ringer now. Let's ring Amanda. You take that one. All right, guys. So um, let's hang around. Now, remember, don't disappear because I've got an absolute huge announcement after this. Here we go. Let's ring Amanda. Put on speaker. Should we FaceTime her? She'll freak out. We're not. <laughs> Hello, Amanda. Um, did you enter a Live the All for Adventure Dream Prize draw? Yeah, this is Jace Andrews from All for Adventure, and I got Jesse Crampton here from All for Adventure as well. You're the winner! No, I'm not kidding. Instagram right now. What was that? My husband's next to me watching Instagram right now. <laughs> or YouTube. You no, you're alive at the four by four show and you have won. How do you feel right now, Amanda? Oh, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. That is awesome. That is awesome. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna hand you over to um, one of our team, and we'll I will get back to you shortly anyway. And um, but anyway, congratulations. And here's the crowd. They reckon it's good too. Thank you so much, Jace. That's amazing. Thank you so much. See ya. Yeah, How so cool that is, is that? That's incredible. That's cool. That is cool. All right, guys. So because then, because none of you guys got to win it, okay, Amanda did. Bloody Amanda. She gets to win it. I, I, I feel this is the worst part. I feel so bad right now. Do you feel bad, Jesse? Oh, I don't know. I don't feel nothing. <laughs> anyway, I feel bad. I feel like I want to give everyone one, but I haven't got enough to give. You've done your good deed for the year, mate. Can we be mongrels for the rest of it now? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> We can be bad. Anyway, guys, so the big announcement, what I'm going to do is, okay, we're going to give you a massive announcement right now. Who wants to hear that? You know it's big, don't you? How big are we talking? Huge. Like really big. All right. Let's drop the bomb.
G'day guys, it's JC from All For Adventure. Have I got some breaking news for you guys. The Keys To Adventure trade promotion is back. And this time, I am gonna give one lucky person the chance to win the keys to Australia's most powerful touring rig. This F250 Super Duty called Ram Eater. Now this is a one-of-a-kind touring machine and it has been custom built to take on some of Australia's toughest outback conditions. Not only have I fitted it with the best 4x4 gear and off-road accessories, but I have performed some next level performance upgrades. And that allowed Ram Eater to effortlessly tow some of the most insane loads off-road and on-road that you've ever seen. This is truly one of the most badass rigs that I have ever put together. And soon, get this, soon, it could all be yours for as little as 35 bucks. Now you're probably asking me, why on earth would I give away this Ram Eater? I, I haven't even had it that long. Well, I'll tell you why, it's for a good cause. During our first Back in Black Keys to Adventure trade promotion, we were fortunate enough to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars to help out the communities in rural and remote Australia by supporting three of our favourite charities. Now they were Careflight, Drought Angels and Outback Futures. Now as you know, I love getting off the beaten track and I love the Outback and I want to keep giving back to the people in these remote communities. That's why once again, a portion of the proceeds from the Ram Eater giveaway will go to supporting our farmers and our remote communities. Boom. Now back to the prize. How do you win it? Well, you head over to allforadventure.com and you follow the links through to the Keys to Adventure page. When you buy a Keys to Adventure package from as little as 35 bucks, not only will you be saving hundreds of dollars with access to All For Adventure Campos and Campos 4x4 gear on the web store, you will automatically go into the draw to win F250 Ram Eater. Now as a special thank you to all our hardcore fans over at Unleashed.tv, you will also receive a bonus code. Now that bonus code triples your entries. How cool is that? You get one entry, Unleashed.tv subscriber, bang, you've got three, just like that. Now hurry, tickets are going to be limited, so don't muck around. Make sure you tag your mates, tell your mates, yell at your mates, I don't care, but I could be giving you the keys to adventure. Who picked it? Who picked it? How is it? Did anyone, did you get a look at that truck? That thing is nuts. Like that is <clears throat> the biggest and baddest truck that I have ever built. Like there's no doubt about it, it's nuts. And I'm giving it away to you guys. One of you guys could win that. How cool is that? When I gave away Back in Black, I don't know what it was, but you should have seen the guy's face. It was nuts. It was, that was my truck. That was, that was Australia's best 79 and I gave it away. And now I'm going to give the opportunity for someone who may not ever have the opportunity to get a truck like that. I'm going to give that opportunity again for someone to get that truck. Now that truck is worth over $365,000 to build. It's insane and that's why I'm sweating bricks right now. <clears throat> Anyway, guys, my voice is shot, but get over to allforadventure.com, check it out. That is now live, and anyone, you guys can go and enter into that competition, and you could have the chance to win that truck. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you for coming here to the 4x4 show in Brisbane. It's been absolutely awesome. Thank you very much, Brisbane. been a pleasure. And thank you for participating in the Live the Offer Adventure Dream Prize.
and see how you go at the Ram Eater Keys to Adventure competition. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this All for Adventure special event. And congratulations to our winner of the Live the All for Adventure Dream competition. Now, remember, during the off-season, you can get your fix of All for Adventure on Unleashed.tv. And we look forward to giving one lucky person the keys to the F-250 Ram Eater in the Keys to Adventure. Proceeds go towards helping out these amazing charities. We'll see you somewhere off the beaten track.